What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at what's coming Thursday. We know the Blue Lock collaboration is going to be ending. So that is going to be ending on the 11th of April. There's also going to be a couple of other bits and pieces that are going to be ending. But the Blue Lock collaboration, if you haven't completed these yet to get all the free players and the Blue Lock players and all that, you can actually continue to do this until tomorrow with 15 hours left at time of recording. The Turkish clubs are also going to be gone as well with the events there. We also know that we're going to be getting a new phase in the eFootball League. That is up on the 11th of the 4th as well. And on top of that, we do have confirmation there with the Blue Lock collaboration that that does end as well as the events. So it's not just the events, it's the complete collaboration, the objectives, everything like that. So you can continue to complete this. The match pass, of course, is also tied to the eFootball phase. So that is going to be ending as well. So we're going to have a new match pass, new eFootball phase, a new collaboration or whatever event that they're going to be doing with that. We also know that we're going to be getting new nominating contracts. These are always kind of fairly hype because they're free players and there's nothing else to do with the nominating contracts. And you can get some worldly players in here, some beastly boys in here there's going to be two selections i would say kevin de bruyne might be in there but let's see we do know as well that every wednesday konami have now started to hype and tease a couple of the player of the weeks that are going to be released and there is an early look here of three of the players who will be up for grabs it looks like it's going to be Kai Havertz. I mean, the other two English players that you have here, there isn't a lot to go on. We're going to have a look and see if we can kind of guess who they're going to be, but we could be right, we could be wrong. We think it's going to be Havertz here. We've done up a little mock for him. I thought it was going to be Phil Foden. People are saying on Twitter, we'll, sh we'll show you in a second what a few uh, a few guys are saying on Twitter. I thought it was going to be Phil Foden and Mainu, but it doesn't, it doesn't appear that it is going to be those two boys. Let's see. I mean, Havertz obviously um, is on, you know, really good form and he's a partner club. Foden and I think it was last week where he scored a hat-trick, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, I mean, I'm not 100% sure on that. Some people are saying that it could be War Pros. Uh, and Lewis, Rico Lewis, obviously from City, um, he had a good role the last day for City in that match. But yeah, I mean, no, Kevin De Bruyne is a bit of an interesting one as well. I think he could be in the club icons. I definitely think they'll put De Bruyne in or else he'll be in the pack as well. Um, this is also just a kind of a guessing game. But you see a couple of players here that will be here. Oshiman, obviously, as well as Havertz and De Bruyne. I think a few of these guys could actually be in the club icons. Because unless they're doing an actual event with the club icons, like the last club icon nominating contract was dominate the game. This might be young players or it might be something like that. I mean, uh, Yamin Lamel has, has been... Um, Yamel has been... Uh, you know, threatened for ages, not threatened, but it's been flirted with for ages that he could come. Now, one thing I would like to see, I'm not too sure whether they'll do any hot fixes or any gameplay tweaks with this update. Sometimes they do every Thursday. They kind of tweak the defensive AI, they, they tweak the positioning, they tweak the dribbling. I personally would like to see the aggressiveness of the AI toned down. I mean, it's very, very, very difficult at the moment, even to just enjoy the game casually and play the game, just passing the ball around. It's so, so aggressive, the AI. That's one thing that I would really like to see toned down. But let me know what you guys think. That is just a roundup of the players that might be coming. The new match pass, obviously, the new eFootball League phase, as well as new events and new collaborations or new campaigns. They're all going to be starting around the same time. Let me know what you guys would like to see, and I'll see you in Thursday. Peace.